hello and welcome to September's She Growls. Uh, so this month and possibly the next month I'm going to trial doing pre-recorded Instagram shows. Um, I did this, decided to do this very last minute. So thank you so much to those who did send in some poems. Um, it doesn't always have to be just poetry, um, but as normally we're based at the Poetry Cafe, um, that does tend to be what we do these days. So if you're watching this for the first time, my name is Carmina Masalova, I'm also a poet, and I'm going to start by reading a poem of my own, which was inspired by Salima Hill's I want to be a cow. I want to be a cat and not chase after anyone. I want to be a cat and still come to comfort those deserving. I want to feel free to rub against your legs. I want to be a cat who goes places where nobody knows and slinks back home like a shadow against the wall. A cat who meows expecting you to give her what she wants, and you do. I want to be a cat, her quietness held to high regard, able to lay down and bask in her own glory, whose territory is marked with claws that can give a light scratch as much as a deep cut, can draw blood like paint on a canvas, skin scarred to make a mark. They say everybody wants to be one. If I were a cat, I'd be a Bengal, wild and fun-loving, exploring. And investigating, arguing until the cows come home, standing out from the crowd in spots and stripes from leopard ancestry. Don't come looking for me. Don't come walking into the shadows with a torchlight and Nepeta Kasaria. Don't pin up signs with my mugshot. Don't call those who try to own me. Don't put out tins of meat for me when I come home. I'm not coming home. I'm going to be the cat that walks by herself. So in keeping with the live spirit, um, my phone did just um, tell me I have low battery. <laughs> um, very typical. Um, and I also stumbled over some words um, because I like to put um, some interesting words that I don't know how to pronounce in my poetry sometimes. So um, now I'm going to introduce the first video, which is quite a special one. Um, most of these in keeping with the uh, kind of, yeah, live vibe um, are just pre-recorded and um, sent as you would see them normally on the show, um, as what has become normal is doing these Instagram shows rather than um, the beloved Poetry Cafe, which is yet to open to events. Um, so, first up is Leah Thorne. So Leah Thorne is a spoken word poet, activist, workshop facilitator and speaker. She works in collaboration with filmmakers and has had award-winning poetry films screened at feminist, le lesbian and poetry film festivals internationally. You can find her latest project, A Colon Dress, on Instagram at, at a.dress.fash and that's fash spelled F-A-S-H and um, the poem is, yeah, um, not a straight reading, it's a 
um, poetry film, which is based on the reading of the poem Cupboards by the late Bertha Freistadt. Um, I am full of fear that you will come for me, full of fear that you will come for me when I am too young, when I am too old. I am waiting, have waited for love less surely. I open cupboards with care and peer into them. I know you're hiding, waiting for me somewhere. In my cupboards are many things of vanity. I do not need them now. I will not need them then. In my cupboards are books I cannot read, photos of the dead, boxes that are too full, bottles and jars, and envelopes that hold my life. I must learn to repack one suitcase, a coat, a pair of running shoes, make them suitable for Jews, red ones, blue ones much too bright, paint them stealthy for the night, no long lace to trip me up, strong toe caps for kicking back. My cupboards are too full, too full of regret. Wait a while until I unburden myself. Take me with empty hands, take me with my hands free, but not just yet, not today. So next up we have got a She Growls Instagram Live regular, Sunita Thind. Sunita Thind is a British Asian female poet and teacher with two poetry collections out, one with Wild Press Books and the other Black Pear Press. And she's going to be reading her poem Pink Icing. This poem is called Pink icing, free bleeding, tampon bursting with blood, garnet bright. Can you smell me? Can you sniff my crotch? It's unclean Indian taboo to stay indoors. I don't get on with my vagina at this time of the month. My pussy is quite angry. Blush pink knickers are soiled. I am... Horny during menstruation, legs akimbo, spread then flopped, caramel ankles, pink and plump like a cake, resembling someone piping blush pink layers of icing into the labia. Those rose velvet sections, if something phallic were to destroy it, it would be upsetting. Let's get the cake mushed up, break the hymen. Let us be ruined, wobbling lushly. This is not just a cock pocket. Farming for the cherry. These schizo panties tonguing the morning. This elaborate creature with the tendrils of nerve endings beneath the body. This sex axe over my head. An interesting appendage is my genitalia. Four steps at times. The smear test, the vaginal tearing, the plastic dildo inserted into me every time I go for a transvaginal scan. Erectile is a tissue, 
the vaginal wall tightening, engorged. This cunt is a booby trap to the public. Asian dirty taboo, wanking, slut shaming. Come play with me, says my fanny. The lusty role play of the mind. Vaginal mutilation is something I know exists. A sparkling vulva bulb of activity. Messy cunt, bikini bottom stained with creamy discharge. Sugary soft was the tar so wet down there. It's viscous. Musky was your odour. With a cosy pungency. Slippery and sliding after masturbating with fertile mucus. This womanly muscled refuge. It is not neat, pink or perfect. This baby harvest tearing around muscled tissue. Monkey cunt, tilted pelvis. Womb contracting harder, gushing down below. This capacity to conceive. This capacity that I will never have. And that was by me, Sunita Bind. Thank you. Next up, we have got the woman with no name who has been at our live, real life, in person open mic um, in Covent Garden and has also um, done some of the Instagram live so it's great to have her back. Um, she is emotive, positive and loves being old. Her Instagram is uh, whiskery underscore grandma underscore storyteller. Hello, I'm the woman with no name and this is a poem about loving somebody and you never saying that you do and also when people just meet that are just so opposites. Hello Malcolm. Can I say now though years have passed I want to shout yeah your buxom obedience beast body did endure me to you. Oh, some would walk quickly on the other side of the road, use words like wibbly, wobbly, sweaty, gross, smelly, and you said so often, I'm big, until it was like a pendulum hanging from your eyelids. Here today, I want to cauterise that before it becomes coated on your name, alias your memory. I want to still be recalled and escondered in that warm delight of your arm, where I was safe. I think of you now standing, waiting hoping that this anorexic woman would snuggle up to you, to be cocooned in your flesh, flesh I thought mistakenly to be on my own arms. Your faith and past abuse spread upon your body like words unspoken. Just as I didn't eat due to my past, you stored my smile in the folds of your flesh and my few embraces you smeared across you, body, until we did become entwined on the same line, a peace line of the big and the thin. Bye-bye, Malcolm, for now. So next we have got Claire Swait, who can be found at, at C-L-A-I-R-E-S-P-8. So Claire S-P-8. Um, thought I'd read that out because obviously there's alternate spellings of Claire and she lives on the Isle of Wight and 
this is her piece stones I go to the same spot in the sand the bones in my bottom mark the spot each time like my hand in soft warm pastry every day I line up the small sea weathered sticks the ratted feathers and the smooth stones I create a small barrier separating me from the world the barrier is not tall but it holds enough energy to cushion me to define where that life ends and where this life begins I sit in that spot phone in hand headphones tangled in some mess like my thoughts and I witness this place is a place where my mind stills and I feel free where I have been where I am going where I am enough I just realised in my notes I hadn't got as the Nita Thins uh, Instagram handle and so I just wanted to point that out. Um, I got a bit confused because there are some Instagram handles within the notes of the presses that she's published by and so her actual Instagram is just her full name so it's very simple um, but just to spell that out for you it's at Sunita S-U-N-I-T-A Thind T-H-I-N-D so all one word so next up we have got Gail whose Instagram handle is poetry underscore cocktail Gail Webb is from Wales writing in Nottingham and having started three years ago she is loving the connectivity and creativity of the poetry world and it's kept her going so please um yeah in your in the privacy of your home <laughs> give it up for Gail hi my name is Gail Webb I'm based in Nottingham or from Wales originally um, I've got a pamphlet out at the moment called The Thrill of Jumping In. It's my first poetry pamphlet and it's available through Big White Shed Publisher. You can just go online to get that. And all profits are going to the Maggie Centre, Nottingham, for cancer care. This is a poem called Mask. Moon shows her face as she moves across night. Clouds clear fall sharp across. Her presence beams magnificent delight, shows translucent skin, thin lips soft as moss. A smile settles faintly on poised mouth, hooded eyes blink against the brimming dusk. Gentle lids hide keen eyes darting north and south, Mystery is close, moon's effect is lust. A luminosity pervades the sky, shining on each stargazer, raw and rare. No one on earth sees this and passes by. Draw the night round shoulders, pearl white bare. Power our lives through each tide and turning. Satellite of Earth, your strength is sublime. The man in the moon is changed, yearning for the mask that transfigures space and time. Thanks everyone, see you soon. So I am filming this from a different location, something went wrong uh, when we tried to wrap up the show. I'm going to do one last poem and then wrap things up. Um, so this um, is a poem that I wrote in a workshop with Simon Moll and Gecko and 
it was part of the poetry picnic that I was involved in and it was something that I, I participated in the writing workshop aspect but I also performed a poem um, at both of the two shows that we did and um, yeah I completely messed up the first time and was able to redeem myself the second time thankfully and um, yeah so this was me kind of using writing um, in a cathartic way to get me through that because I was very tearful and um, felt very overwhelmed um, when I forgot my lines um, and had to like fumble around with a little bit of paper that I'd brought. So this, um, yeah, is a poem about a person but also about the moment. His face is a sunflower, his smile steadies my breathing, his arms still my shaking body. I needed to do this alone. I've grown used to it now, but there are still times I crumble. The park is filled with sunflowers, smiling back at me, but the silence between my forgotten words means I can't see. Birds tweet, the wind rushes through the trees, and I know that I will return to his arms with a warmth greater than blankets, but for now, I am told to breathe, so my eyes well up in overwhelm with words I can comfort myself and breathe. So if there is any extra time in the usual hour that we have for this, I hope that the poems have inspired you and that um, perhaps you can write some of your own stuff um, so that maybe I think what always ceases to amaze me about writing is how powerful it is at healing and can help you get through some really hard times um, so maybe that works for you or maybe um, you know listening to other people can help as well um, either way I hope that you have enjoyed this and yeah we'll see what happens in October um I'll try and ask um for poems more in advance so that um perhaps we can um get a few more people on board